Mandy Pugh, I play guitar. My name's Corky Gainsford, I play drums. I'm V, I play the bass. What's up, Ryan Patrick, play guitar. Adrian Patrick, I do vocals, and if you're not in the now, you're in the nothing. So you guys have been out doing some shows with Stone Sour and Papa Roach. How have those uh, shows been going for you guys? Yeah, amazing. I'm shabby who's looking at the footage. I mean, they're, they're, this is the biggest tour of our careers so far, and um, you know, it's, it's a hell of an opportunity that, that Stone Sour and Papa Roach have given us, and, and we just want to do make them proud and you know do right by our fans and gain new fans and you know we've been out for almost two weeks with them now and you know our Facebook has gone up by over a thousand you know like in just in a couple weeks so if we can continue continue reaching the audiences that we're getting to play in front of you know the sky's the limit. Right. Now have you guys uh, had a chance to sit down and just talk one-on-one -on -one with those guys and maybe get some pointers from from them being the road veterans that they are? Uh, a little bit. Uh, we, you know, we, we, uh, we got some time with uh, Jacoby in, in uh, New York. Uh, we, we got a little bit of FaceTime with Corey last night in, in Kansas City. They're, they're very gracious and, and they're, very, they're willing to, to you know, make time and they're willing to give pointers and give advice. You know, I'm actually going to talk to Corey sometime before uh, the end of the week about what he does to, to warm up. You had some FaceTime with Tech Nine last night. Oh yeah, we had some FaceTime with Tech Nine. That was pretty Nine? cool, man. That was kind of random, but he was hanging out backstage him and Corey and boys, and he was like, "Man, I really liked your set, dog. I checked you guys out, man. You guys have you guys have me rocking." I was like, <laughs> I was like "Wow, you're Tech Nine, dude." <laughs> <laughs> that was the response. Yeah. You're Tech Nine. Yeah. <laughs> so the couple of weeks you guys have been out on the road uh, on this tour, is, is there any one show that kind of sticks out in your mind right now as like? Man, that was a badass show. Man, the last couple of shows have been phenomenal. I, I mean, almost every single show of this tour it's has literally good. been better and better each and every night. Like last night, Kansas City was out of control. You know, we had two separate mosh pits, and they came together, and people were crowd surfing to our ballet. Masks, yeah. Our, yeah, crowd surfing to the ballet. You know, people with Slipknot mask on, just crowd surfing to our, our, our song. And, you know, New York City was an awesome show. They've Chicago. all been just Chicago, the same, yeah. Chicago, you know, sold out, you know, venues, which yeah. we couldn't ask for more. What about future dates? Are there any cities that are coming up that you guys are looking forward to going and playing? San Antonio, I believe. We haven't played there yet. Yeah, um, that's coming right up. There. We're, we're, the tour's heading west, so we get to go back to Los Angeles, and then we get to play in our hometown at the joint. Yeah. So we're definitely looking forward to playing to our hometown fans yeah. at, at the only venue that we've never played a show at. Nice. Yeah. And, then, and you get to get out of the coldness and hit some warmth. Yeah, that's, that's the theory, but we, we keep driving south and it keeps getting colder, so I don't know what's going on. Wichita, man, what's up with that? It's freezing balls here, man. <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's cool to hit some of the cities that we're not hitting yet. Like uh, like Salt Lake City is, has been a good radio city for us, but... Um, yeah, yeah, we'll uh, we'll do uh, Salt Lake City, when's that? February 16th? Yeah, we never played there, that's going to be... That's, that's the gonna last, be. no, Denver's the last day. Yeah. Yeah. Cool, good. Yeah. All, just a whole bunch of major cities that we're going to, man. We're excited about all of them. Nice. And what's next for you guys tour-wise? What are you doing after the Snow Sour Papa Roach tour? Well, we're... Jacoby himself actually personally uh, offered the, the next leg of the, the Papa Roach tour to us, so hopefully we can make that work out. Um, we're, we're, we're in talks with, with the guys at Nonpoint. Um, it's a great uh, band. But we're, we're doing some shows with Pop Evil up in Michigan in their home state. Uh, we, you know, we're we're up for a lot of big big things. You know, we we've been booked for a bunch of festivals already. Uh, so some of them been announced, some haven't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, yeah we we keep getting messages from like fans and friends of like, hey, you're playing here. I'm like, oh, okay, didn't know that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> we've got a date. So you're learning about your tour dates from your fans. Yeah. And yeah. Your family. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Dude, this, my, my my mom knows more about our tour dates than, than we do. Yeah. <laughs> so. Let's uh, talk a little bit about your your record label, Century Media. How did you guys decide on picking up with them? Did they approach you guys? Yeah, um, they had. We, you know, we have a bit of a history with with Century Media. I, I did a, a guest vocal a couple years back um, on an In This Moment song called "The Promise," and we toured on the Mayhem Festival during the one doing the one song every night. And you know, we've we've been on the radar for a while. And when Soldiers went to number one on satellite radio in at the end of 2011. It was the first song by an unsigned band to go number one on satellite. Then all these labels that already passed on us, now they now they're interested, you know. And when we met with the guys that said Century Media, it just felt like we'd already 
kind of been there. You know, we would, it already felt like we were signed to Century Media. <laughs> so, um, so it's basically it was a, a perfect fit. For yeah, it was a perfect fit. And you know, they they believed in us before any other label did. You know, and and they didn't they didn't come chomping at the bit once we hit number one. You know, we we'd always been in contact with them, and and so it it just it just made sense. You know, a lot of sense for us to go. Uh -huh. Now, when you guys went in to record the record, um, you guys had a, the EP out previously. Um, was there any reason you didn't rehash any of that stuff? Did you just want to go all new material? Well, we had so much, we had so many demos, and um, it just, you know, the, the, the EP was kind of, it, it just kind of lives on its own, you know, and, and we, we had, we feel like we could, we can always do better. And so that's what we that's what we set out to do with True Love Never Dies, and I think I think it I think we kind of achieved that. And I mean, we were having you know phenomenal success with our debut album mm -hmm. and on our label, and um, it's 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 opening our back catalog up to all our new fans, you know. So it's pretty cool to see uh, see people posting you know links to our older older stuff you know and, mm -hmm. and see the sales go up on those it's pretty, it's pretty cool mm -hmm. and what, what was what's an average day in the studio like for you guys do you guys all sit down and, and write the songs together or you guys pair up when you're writing stuff do you we individually do writing on the bus um these, the andrew here is a, is a, is a very uh, um, uh, accomplished uh, engineer and, and he, he's, he's very adept at pro tools and so we um We've been tracking on the bandwagon, and there's some cool stuff. My brother's got always got riffs, you know, falling out of his his, his ear hole. You know? Out of my hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I got a I got a riff for each strand of hair on my hair. <laughs> it's, it, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> the, the process is, is uh, editing through all those strands yeah. of hair, finding we're, find, we're find up, the highlights. Yeah. We're, on the, <laughs> we're driving down the, uh, the the highway the other night, and uh, he had he just pressed record for me, and I, I guess I played for like 25 minutes straight. I was like, dude, did you hear that? He's like, no, man, I tuned out like 25 minutes ago. <laughs> I gotta go back through and like chop it all up. Yeah, I was like, I, was like, I, figured, I figured I'd let him go through all the ideas, and then once he's done, I was like, well, we'll find the few nuggets. I was like, you ready to start the verse now? Yeah. He's, like, he's like, it was in there, man. It's like the, probably the 12th minute. Yeah. Through the 10 minute bridge, bro. Yeah, but the best part of that is, I mean, like, he will be kind of goofing around and, and improvising, but some of those nuggets are, are what will end up in the song anyway, like some of those little ideas. And, a lot of times Ryan will come through, we'll, we'll piece out a song that way, and then we'll pitch it over to Adrian, he'll come up with some ideas, and we'll go back, you know, we'll just kind of keep circling around. Yeah. Um, and and it, it all gets, it goes through what, the the, uh, the BS test? Like, yeah. if you call BS on it, then it's like, all right, you know, well, let's try this instead, that kind of thing. But yeah. And fortunately, you know, for my brother and I, our, our bandmates are all, you know, well-versed in music theory, so if we, if we have, an idea, you know, V will know where to take it next, you know, what, what key or what, what chord to go to. Chord key will, will know, well, this makes more sense mathematically in the, you know, for, for the progression itself, you know. Mm -hmm. um, they're all, they're all, you know, educated musicians, you know, and I, I'm the only idiot, really, when it comes to music <laughs> theory in the, in the band. Um, so I'm, I'm very lucky that, that these guys know where to take an idea and, and send it in the right direction mm -hmm. um, I'm taking over from here um, right. so you guys uh, you guys just released a video for I don't apologize this month right yeah how's that been received so far almost 20,000 views already in, over, in about a week we got yeah. you know it's been really well monster energy released it for us exclusively and uh, uh, it's been uh, going over very well is it is it getting more views faster than even Soldiers dropped when it came out on? Uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's it's definitely you know the progression you can see in our in our, our notoriety or you know, our presence I guess whatever you want to call it. Um, it's it's and it's a, you know it's a damn good looking video. I mean Robert John Clyde, the director, is a good friend of ours, and he's you know he's he's a fashion photographer and he did videos for In This Moment, Ten Years. Yeah, um, really. He's got some bigger bands coming up now too. After we just did our video, yeah. and it's it's been he did that on no budget. Yeah, know? I mean, really. did he did he do the promise that you were featured in as well? With no, that, that was uh, what was that guy's name? Dave Broad Broadbeck. Different guy. Different Rob, guy. Rob did Blood, which yeah. exploded this year. Rob did yeah. Blood. Oh, okay. For in this moment, and that that's a beautiful video as well. Yeah. Um, 
You know, it's always fun working with Rob because you know he is a fashion photographer, so he's always got like the hottest models, <laughs> like on in in the cube. You know, and I'm, I'm talking about the male models. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So, so um, uh, do you guys have any other singles that you plan on maybe releasing a video for in the future? I don't know. We were talking about that last night, actually. Yeah. Um, so it's a possibility. We yeah. actually have some in, uh, up our sleeves. We'll yeah. see where I Don't Apologize goes, and from that, we'll decide what the next one will be. But the record's being received really well right now, right? Yeah, I mean, so far, so good. Strong top, tour. Top selling debut rock act of 2012, so that's, really? that's pretty cool. We're, Didn't we're you get... Or didn't you guys just get number one on Sirius Octane? Was that what it was? That was Soldiers. 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 And, and Full Circle went number two one. number ones. Two number ones on, on, on Sirius Octane. Two number ones. Right now, I don't apologize, is sitting at number 18 on the Billboard Active Rock Charts. So if we can keep, if we can get it up to in the top 10, um, who knows? Who knows what we'll do next? We'd like to go four singles deep off of this album and you know get a, another solid year, year and a half of, of touring on the album cycle. Um, but as of what's come, what we're gonna release next, I, I don't know. Just like my brother said, it depends. It depends on what I don't apologize does. Right. Uh, so Adrian, I had a question for you about uh, working with Ashley Costello from New Year's Day. Oh yeah, on yeah, yeah. The Heaven Song. Or? Yeah, yeah. What was what was that like, and how did you guys come together? To you know, I, the the funny thing is, I only got I've only we only met her once, and I didn't actually get to meet work with her in the studio. Maria Brink was actually originally supposed to sing on. On heaven. And oh, that would have been really yeah, a cool know, trade. Yeah, 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 yeah it would have cool. Um, but you know, and Maria, Maria cut, cut, sent us some cuts, and it was it was beautiful stuff. But you know, there's always with management and contracts and, and the timing. It just we had to get get it done. The album had to be released, and so I was talking to our product product manager, and and he was he's in his office at Century Media, and he goes, hold on a sec, hold on, hold on, and, and the phone goes silent for a little bit. He goes. Hey, uh, Ashley Costello uh, is uh, she's from from New Year's Day. wants wants to do the song, and, and, and she she said she'll do it. And I was like, cool, <laughs> like, <That's awesome. laughs> do it, man. And and she went into into NRG with Jay Baumgartner and, and just knocked it out of the park, man. Yeah, it's a great song. Yeah, she 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 did she did fantastic on that, and and it, it, I guess it worked out in the way that like in this moment gave me my first real big break on the national level. Uh, you know, maybe if, if that song ends up being a single, it can do the same thing for Ashley. You know. And right. I remember. Uh, I remember meeting you guys on the Rockstar Mayhem yeah. Fest 2010. You guys were driving. What was that? Uh, Oklahoma City. The last. Oklahoma day. City. Yeah. Uh, that's true. Uh, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You guys were riding around, I believe, in your mom's SUV or something, yeah, and then yeah, passing out demos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the good old, the good old Dodge Caravan. What's it? What's it like coming from those days, like you know, 2010, when you're riding around, you know. Just doing like a couple of uh, you know guest spots within this moment on stage and handing out EPs to where you guys are now. You know it's funny, man, because we it's, it's hard to take stock of, of, of that. You know when you're you when you're in the moment, um, it's you know it, it it doesn't seem it doesn't seem real. You know like last night we we played in front of that crowd in Kansas City and it was just you know they went ape shit. You know and and looking back on it today, it's like, wow, that actually happened, you know? It was about 2,400 people at the Midland last yeah, night, right? Yeah, it was fact, man. And, and Even taking stock from last month, we were in Kansas City. Yeah. And we played at a bar where we weren't even, like, on the bill. The promoter didn't know we were there. So we played <laughs> to maybe 15, 20 people. And this is not even three years ago. This is last month. This is three December. weeks ago. Yeah. 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 So 20 people to 2,400 people. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, quite a, that's quite a step yeah. right there. And so coming from, you know, the, the, the Mayhem Festival in 2010, when we were running around with a, a bucket that said gas fund on it, and nobody knew who we were, you know, it's... It's it's surreal when we you know even see a, a handful or a dozen people singing the lyrics back to us, right? Um, and, and, and in towns that we've never played, so still running around with that gas bucket. Still running around the gas bucket. <laughs> we can always use gas money. Well, you guys left an impression on me. We you know we've always believed in you guys since that day. And I'll, I'll start wrapping this up. But uh, my, I was going to ask, uh, do you have any uh, festival tour dates that are like any of the festival shows that are announced yet that you can talk about? Rock on the Range is, is confirmed. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, Welcome to Rockville in Florida is confirmed. Um, there's some other ones that we can't talk about. It's a matter of national security, I guess. But, um, they're it's looking good. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, it's looking good for us, man. The festival season is looking good. We have a, 
we have a great team. Our label is, is amazing. Our management team at Arms Division is killer. Our booking agent, TKO. Uh, you know, it's, they're all very, they're boutique firms, you know, and they give us a lot of attention and they have a great, each, each company has a great reputation in the industry. So, you know, they're, they're, they're power players, but we don't get lost in the shuffle, you know, which may happen on, you know, at bigger companies. Uh, we're, we're in a very, very unique position as a band, um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll get to do a festival tour here this summer. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Do you uh, do you have a tentative release date possibly for your next record? Any any window of ideas? Uh, <laughs> no, not even not even close yet. Twenty fourteen. So just finish. Maybe. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Maybe. Yeah. 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 I mean. We're constantly like, like we said, laying down ideas. We're talking about maybe doing like an acoustic EP just to, you know, throw some stuff out there. And um, our, 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 the beauty of what we do, I guess, is that we can translate our music acoustically, and it comes across really well, apparently, because our, you know, our manager Danny Wimmer is a really hard guy to impress, and he's just always like, "Dude, you guys are just so good acoustic." You know, I, you know, this is coming from a guy who discovered Puddle of Mud and Limp Biscuit. you know, like, it's awesome. so, yeah, if we do anything soon, it'd probably be like an acoustic EP, maybe with one new song on there, maybe a cover or something, um, but as far as an album, we definitely have enough material for a new album, but... The album is coming out, <coughs> not this year. Someday, yeah. <laughs> Someday. So, glad that's of, confirmed. Yeah, yeah, a lot of it, a lot of, I mean, obviously a lot of it just requires us to have time off the road, and we're, we're constantly on the road right now, so... As soon as, as soon as you see a break in our touring schedule, that will likely mean that we're in the studio. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We don't even know when the tour schedule is going to, you know, as far as this run goes, it's it's February 17th, and, you know, we're getting dates added with other bands at the end of this one. You know, right. Just, we, it just keeps going. So the final thing I want to ask is I want each one of you to describe the person to your left in one word. The person what? The person to your left. To your left. Huh? Yeah. Imaginary should be Let's your answer, see. right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Wow. I'll start. Okay. Cereal. Cereal. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hard. Hard. <laughs> hard headed or hard? C is liter literal <laughs> and figurative. Uh, hard. Uh, hard. Uh, do I get him again? I guess so. <laughs> well, well the, describe the laptop. The laptop. <laughs> Frustrating. Okay. Frustrating. Frustrating. What about Shabby over there? Oh, oh Shabby. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. Oh, man. And my, to my left, my brother, dude. Uh, you know, he's... One word, man. One word. How do I sum up my brother? One word. Brother. <laughs> better. <laughs> he's better than, than me. He's a better man. One word! <laughs> Thanks, man. Cool. Well, I think that about wraps it up, yeah. guys. I Thank appreciate you guys, your man. time within the now. Hey, in the now, man. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. If you're not in the now, you're in the nothing. <laughs>